Hello, the long-awaited release of Lumion 2024 is finally here. We're right on the heels of our release video with lots of exciting features added in the newest version of Lumion. I think you will agree that the wait was well worth it. Remember, this is only at launch and we have many more exciting things coming throughout this year. Now, let's dive right in. Lumion Nature objects have been converted to the ray tracing pipeline. Now, you'll accurately see trees, shrubs and flowers in your reflections to add that extra level of quality to every clip or photo you produce. So now you have a great excuse to not see the forest for the trees. Here's the best part, all you need to do is add the ray tracing effect and nothing more. With Lumion 2024, we say goodbye to the noisy preview with ray tracing courtesy of the real-time denoiser, which brings a faster workflow, improving navigation and creating an overall more pleasant experience. When the ray tracing effect is active, the real-time denoiser will kick in ensuring you get a clearer preview fast. But that's not all. You can also enable the noiser when rendering your movies and to say it's a considerable speed improvement is an understatement. Now you have comparable results with fewer samples and with the faster temporal denoiser. Of course, the boost will vary, but this is a game changer. See the colors on the ground? Let's take a closer look. Glass will now cast coloured shadows in ray tracing, stained, tinted or glass bricks. If you have something like this in mind, you know you can achieve it with this feature. So this was the new example scene in which we have highlighted some of these cool new techniques. Make sure to check it out. In addition to all of that, the ray tracing effect now features a toggle that enables the glass to be fully ray traced. Depending on the situation you are in, Especially when your glass objects are more intricate, you want all that extra detail from reflections, refractions and material thickness to be there. Let's move to our next scene. We have our model imported and let's add a few lights under the surface of the table. We'll adjust the settings a bit and switch to a marble material with subsurface scattering. Change the color to yellow, increase the slider and back to movie mode. Let's animate the light a bit and play the video. Looks good. Subsurface scattering has been added to the ray tracing pipeline and you are one step closer to completely knocking the socks off your clients. Going back now to our new example scene. As we move the camera along the building, you'll notice that something is missing. Luckily, we have the new parallax interiors to fill in the gaps. We have an upcoming tutorial on this topic where we will cover all the available features. But in short, you can use the library items to always have a room facing your render. We know it's a bit hard to switch between control schemes when you have three to four applications open. Whether you're using SketchUp, Revit or Rhino, just navigate to the settings, select a control scheme from your main 3D modeling software and there you have it. The Lumion camera will move using the same controls as the ones in your 3D application. Last but not least, here's a one size fits all for a full PBR import workflow. Starting with Lumion 2024, the GLTF format will now be supported and you can easily import your model with full control over the JSON schema. And of course, once imported into Lumion, you can use it just as any other model. This is far from everything included in this launch. Make sure you check out the release notes and our other tutorials to get started with Lumion 2024. There's more on the way, updates and content included, so stay tuned.